Hey guys and welcome to the video. We're going to be discussing a lawsuit against the Little Mermaid producers due to an on-set injury that took place during the movie's production. So grab your snorkels as we dive into the ocean that surrounds this story. But before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, stay up to date with all of the movie news we have going on around here. So guys, we're going to jump into this Screen Rant article. Little Mermaid live action producers sued for 200,000 due to an on-set injury. So, special effects artist who worked on the live action remake of The Little Mermaid is suing producers for almost 200,000 after an onset injury. In a small summary here, veteran special effects artist Christine Overs is suing the producers of The Little Mermaid for 191,000 after breaking her wrist in an onset accident. The film, the live action remake of Disney's 1989 animated classic, received mixed results at the box office, but is considered one of Disney's better live action remakes. Overs is known for her work on films like Goldeneye. Aliens and was injured after a makeshift stair break causing her to fall to the ground. So yeah guys, obviously working on a movie set can be quite um, quite a dangerous job. A lot of people don't bear that in mind. You know, when we go and watch films, we just watch the films. We don't necessarily think of the making of a film. But with an on, you know, working behind the scenes, you know, there's a lot of special effects. You've got pyros going off and you've got, you know, you've got um, pulleys and rigs and cables and wires and lights and you know, different actors and vehicles and all different things kind of moving around all in different times. And, you know, accidents are going to happen. And um, unfortunately, this is the way of the business. Sometimes these accidents happen. Um, as to what specifically happened in this circumstance, let's jump into the article and see if it's a bit more clearer on what happened. So the Little Mermaid special effects artist, Christine Overs, is suing the film producers for nearly 200000 after breaking her wrist in an onset accident. Serving as a live-action remake for Disney's 1989 classic, The Little Mermaid, sees Halle Bailey step into the title role of Ariel. The film saw mixed, res mixed results at the box office, but is generally considered one of Disney's better live-action remakes. That's up for debate. I don't think it is, but anyway, I digress. Now per deadline, Ovis is suing Sandcastle Pictures, the entity of Disney established to make The Little Mermaid for $191,000 after sustaining an onset injury. Others, whom uh, many credits include Goldeneye, Aliens, and the original Dune, was working on one of the film's beach scenes when a makeshift stair broke, causing her to fall to the ground and break her wrist. So, more about Others, the Little Mermaid lawsuit. I think that's how you say it, Others. I'm not sure. Um, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing that, guys, by the way. So, the 74-year-old. Oh, wow. Okay, she was 70, so she's 74 years old, and she's working as a special effects artist in the industry. Wow, that's that's you know good on her that she's 74 years old and she's still working in the industry that's great the 74 year old Ovis, who is an industry veteran required five steel pins to be fitted to her wrist and needs to wear a device that keeps her arms stabilized Ovis lawyers uh, claim that in addition to the ongoing wrist pain the special effects artist now has difficulty using her hand and performing the precise movements required for her job her lawyers further um, accuse sandcastle pictures of not providing adequate access to the set which subsequently led to others having to use a makeshift stair. So it sounds like there's some negligence here. She couldn't access part of the set properly that she was trying to get to or that she was trying to operate for whatever job that is that she does. And she had to make a, her own makeshift stair. And, you know, she accidentally fell off it, whether it wasn't constructed properly or it just slipped on something. Um, and she fell off and she broke her wrist and um, she's not been able to do her job since. And, uh, she's suing to uh suing for the damages which is which is fair enough i mean if the, if that's the case then um you know due to their negligence she had to she had to make a, a stair lift and she ended up hurting herself um for its part sandcastle pictures has admitted full liability for others injury so there you go guys they they admit that it's it's their fault we don't know the precise ins and outs of what actually happened obviously as fans you know as movie fans we're not going to be privy to all the ins and outs of what exactly like exactly what happened but um if they've admitted full liability then you know obviously they know that they were in the wrong and that they did something wrong and uh they've at least they've admitted to that which is good so uh they've admitted uh full liability for others injury on the little mermaid set but it's disputing the 191,000 amount that she is seeking the pre-trial hearing has already taken place, but the actual trial date has not yet been set. So the trial date is going to be in the future at some point. Um, I'm not sure exactly why she's seeking this amount of money. Um, that's a very specific amount of money, 191000 You would think that you would, someone would just claim for 200000 
Um, it must be a reason for this specific amount. I'm not sure. Could be a personal reason. Could be medical bills. I'm not really sure on that. All those safety measures are much more stringent now than they have been in the past. Uh, film set accidents, minor and major, still continue to happen uh, due to human error. Obviously, on that movie Rust with Alec Baldwin, there was a movie mistake where a real bullet was loaded into a gun. And as Alec Baldwin picked up the gun and fired it, it was supposed to be a blank, ended up being a real bullet. And it killed um, one of the on-set people. So, yeah, major mistakes, minor mistakes, they happen on set. As I say, there's a lot of... There's a lot of moving systems going on behind the scenes of these movies. And um, there's a lot of different people that need to communicate properly again amongst each other to make sure things are running properly, that people are being safe. And um, evidently, at some point, communication does break down. Someone doesn't do what they're supposed to. Um, injuries are going to happen. It happens in every walk of life, not just the movie industry. So, for example, which sent six crew members... Um, Oh, wait, I skipped that bit. So uh, film set accidents, minor and major, still continue to happen due to human error, unforeseen circumstances, and general dynamic nature of the work environment. A recent incident happened on the set of Gladiator 2, for example, which sent six crew members to hospital. While it remains to be seen what the outcome of the Little Mermaid trial will be, it's clear that the safety precautions still need to be the utmost concern, even when not dealing with stunts and bombastic special effects. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I mean... Every, every one of us in our jobs, you know, we get bored of hearing about health and safety. It's rubbish. Nobody cares about it. But then if one of us gets injured, we're the first person to, you know, complain about it and want to sue someone or want to do something about it. Or, you know, we want we want reparations um, for being injured in the workplace. But, um, yeah, like, like it says, guys, um, when it comes down to it, the workplace, health and safety and people, especially on these movie sets, you know, someone's, someone's life and preventing injury has got to be one of the most important things that they can manage at the end of the day yeah making a film is a financial thing and it's a business i get it they're there to make money but keeping people safe is a number one priority in any work in any industry keeping people safe is the top priority that it should be um so it looks like the trial is going to take place uh we don't know when yet could be in the near future could be sometime late next year um, I'll definitely update you guys on the channel as to when the case is taking place and uh, what happens within the case. But it looks like she's trying to sue for nearly 200000 Whether she's going to get that or they come to some sort of compromise where she gets half of that is still yet to be seen. So guys, jump into the comment section. Let me know what you think about this. Do you, um, do you think that she's entitled to that amount of money for her injury? Um, I'd love to know what you have to say and I will see you soon. <laughs>